No. Please, please. Good evening. All right. Joe Morgan, 2063 Ren. Um, so I wanted to correct a couple of things that I heard at the last meeting regarding Colonel Lalinda. Um, I actually got a copy of that financial aid uh, program, if you want to call it that. Um, and I heard that, well, only three people applied. So I got a copy of it and found out why only three people applied because it's sort of you, it's almost impossible for somebody to have a house and then get the aid because what the stipulation on there, they basically piggyback off of the HUD Section 8 guidelines. The thing that's particularly insidious about it is that you have to be on the waiting list for a Section 8 home to qualify for aid in the mobile home park. Not that you qualify for Section 8. You have to be on the waiting list. On the waiting list means that you're leaving your house or that you're looking for housing. If you, if you decide that you're not going to move out of your house, then you're no longer on the Section 8 waiting list, and then you would no longer be qualified for the 10% discount. It's a 10% rent offset. So, And seeing that the rent is going up 15 or 20% now and possibly you know that much or more, it's never even going to catch up. It'll never even catch up with the offsets. So it's always going to be a losing battle. It's a 10% discount. So that's pretty much the program. Um, as far as the turnover, the turnover is already happening in this park. I understand that there's been 10 units moved out since they've, since they've taken it over. I think it was near, near full at the time when he bought it. Now there's about 10 spaces or something open that they're already moving out. Um, so as far as the, I also heard representations made that the $129 was to cover the tax bill. Um, I had heard that, that there was 132 spaces. Based on 132 spaces, the, the increased tax bill is approximately 85, 90 bucks. So that's the, uh, that's the offset from the uh, previous assessment to the current assessment. So they're free and clear of the tax, the additional tax burden, they're already getting 30, 40 bucks now free and clear so they've already got a five percent or better raise in addition to their increased cost because of the assessments um from what i hear from the people is the same thing i my my inclination is that they're looking for some stability they're not looking for some guarantee or some um freedom from rent increases they just need the same thing that everybody else does which is the ability to plan their lives and be able to know wh where they're going to be able to pay for housing they need some kind of stability and ability to look out in the future and say, well, okay, well, I'm going to have to move in a year or two or three that, that they can retain some kind of value in their house, retain some kind of equity. And just, it's just a sense of fair play. I mean, I, I don't understand why this is so hard. I understand for some of you guys, it's a philosoph philosophical thing. Um, you know, your philosophy is meeting these people's lives. You know, I mean, they really could use the help and it seems like, uh, you know, a decent thing to do. Thanks. Thank you. Is there anyone else this evening that would like to speak? Seeing no one, we will 